live from Jazz Cat Studios in Nashville. Uh, bumping on sunset one so now we're going to come over here to uh oh this is my first paul reed smith guitar i've ever owned and it's a beauty this this guy is affectionately known as the boss and uh it's a 1990 custom 24 look at the top on that is that beautiful or what and uh so we're gonna we're gonna do this thing uh, the tune I'm going to do now is uh, a song from my Inner Voices record, and it's uh, it's really a pretty song that uh, I did for my daughters. I've got three kids, and I name a lot of my songs after my kids or ideas that come from them. And this actually, this one actually came from my wife. When we had the girls, they had little sweet little uh, birthmarks on them, and my wife said they're those are angel kisses, and I said. Perfect. So this song is called Angel's Kiss. And it's from my Inner Voices record, by the way, which is 
right here. And that was a top five record for me. So, you guys, uh, they're still out there, still available. You can always contact me if, you, if you'd like to get one. So, all right. So here we go, uh, Angel's Kiss. Thank you. 
All right, having a little bit of fun here with this. So, Custom 24 PRS, if you guys, anybody has any questions on any of the gear I'm using or anything, I do get a lot of gear questions. And uh, this is a smooth segue, isn't it? So, I've decided because of that, a lot of questions about uh, how you get your tone, etc., etc. I'm going to start a new series that's a the 10 minute tone. And we're going to do this 10 minutes of tone. And I'm going to jump on Facebook Live probably on Saturdays and take questions. And it's really going to be about 10 minutes, and that's about it. I'm going to discuss the different things that I use and the, uh, the great blessings I have with the, the sponsors that uh, endorsements that uh, send me products to use. So we'll talk about all that on a different show. This one's about wine and uh, wine and music. And so another great segue, huh? Pretty smooth. Um, so tonight, make sure you get a shot of that too. That Whitfield guitar glass. Thanks, Charles. I'm going to play that guitar next, so we'll talk about that. But right now, this uh, this beautiful wine that I'm enjoying um, is uh, from uh, Recchia, from Valpolicella in Italy. And uh, the uh, the name of it is uh, La Marais. And, uh, and which translates to the wall. The grapes in Valpolicella at this particular vineyard, they're grown on a slope and supporting the slope is a, uh, a stone wall and so the, it's, it's named after that. Um, the grapes that are in there, that's Valpolicella grapes, uh, Corvina Vernese and uh, Corvione and Rondinella and then uh, uh, it, it's called a rapasso, which means second time around. So they, they take some of the, uh, the grapes that have already been used, the pumice of the grapes, and pour fresh juice through it to create this beautiful wine, but very full-bodied and uh, dark fruits, aromatic, um, uh, blackberry kind of flavors, uh, delicious. And it's, it sees 14 months of French oak. Uh, and so it's great. It's a very intense bouquet on this. Wonderful. I've had people ask to see the label, so that's the label of this terrific wine. Aerospinosi Selections, that's who brings this in through Lippmann Brothers, and it's available most stores, especially in the Nashville and Tennessee area, Florida. Uh, they're, they're gaining states all the time with these wonderful wines, so make sure you check out Recchia, Amarone, and the Rapasso. Fantastic. Man, I gotta thank uh, Lindsay Williams for being here and helping me tonight with this because uh, it's a handful to try to do by yourself. So, uh, you know, anybody doing live streams, thanks for your patience on 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 this because it's you never know what the software is gonna do. It seems like. Okay, so this guitar, let me check uh, tunage here. This guitar is made up in Kentucky, uh, handmade by a man named Charles Whitfield, and it's a Whitfield Strat. Man, he builds fantastic instruments. I mean, they are, they are just great. And uh, he's, a, he's a really good guy, too, just like Paul Reed Smith is. And uh, so, uh, wonderful guitar. He does Telecasters and Strats, and I can't recommend them enough. So the next tune I'd like to do for you is uh, a tune off of uh, which record? Dreams Like This, I think it is. The, the purple one back there. Should I get it, Lindsay? Oh, sure. See, it's nice to have somebody here to talk to. I mean, I've got this massive crowd out here, but they're a little far from me. Yeah. So this one is, uh, uh, this is a fun record, too. Um, you know, next time I'm going to do Sunny off of this, which is my friend Bobby Hebb. And uh, Bobby actually came and heard my version of it and sang on it. And uh, which was such an honor because it's one of the first songs I learned uh, when I was a kid. But I'll tell that story when I play the song. Maybe next time. Okay. Okay.
everybody for stopping by tonight. I enjoyed it. I had fun. I hope you did too. Uh, the great wine I'm having tonight. I want to thank Lippman Brothers for this beautiful bottle of Rapasso from Recchia, uh, Aerospinosi. I love all those Italian terms, don't you? Don't you? It's fun to talk like that, huh? So, okay. So here we go. I'm going to say good night to you and uh, don't forget I'll be starting the 10 minutes of tone probably in a week or so. I'm not quite ready to do it yet, but I'm going to start promoting it now. And I hope you uh, guitar players out there will want to join me for that. It'll be a lot of fun. So.
Thank you and good night, folks. Take care.